At 67 years old, Norma Reeves is no longer having a hard time getting around. I can walk now. That wasn't the case just a few weeks earlier. A racing pulse zapped her of all of her energy. She was on medication, but it never did the trick. And she would end up in the hospital every two to three weeks. It made me tired. I, I wasn't able to do anything. I could do something for about five minutes and have to quit. And mm -hmm. I got where I couldn't even stand up to cook stove and cook. Dr. Scott Burkett is a cardiologist at University Health Conway. He subspecializes in electrophysiology, which looks at heart rhythm disorders. That's what was causing Norma's health problems. She's had a prior uh, valve replacement on her heart. And when the surgeons did the job, that whenever you cut on the heart and it heals up, well, it heals by scar tissue. And those little small areas of scar tissue can now interfere with the electrical system. But finding which part of the heart is causing the problem is the hard part. You have to go looking for it. It's like a needle in a haystack. But now, Dr. Burkett has some help. He's using the most advanced 3D heart mapping system in University Health Conway's new cardiac cath lab. With the help of catheters, Dr. Burkett could map her heart based on its electrical signals. This colorized image is the top right chamber of Norma Reeves' heart. That's where the problem is. With the map as guidance, Dr. Burkett was able to burn the scar tissue left behind by her valve replacement surgery. The red spots are all areas where the scar tissue was burned. This procedure got Norma's heart back on the right beat. I felt 100% better after it was done. Now just weeks after the procedure, Norma Reeves is feeling better than ever and getting back to enjoying life. It's great. I even got out and rode my bicycle one time. <laughs> the latest technology, helping University Health Conway doctors map better outcomes for their patients. For the University Health News Network, I'm Ed Walsh.